Hey everyone, it's Brad Wood. Today I have a quick video talking about a fun new module called Command Box CF Format. Now this is not even an Ordis uh, powered library. This is made by John Burquest, um, awesome guy out in the Cold Fusion community making cool stuff, and he made this as a module for Command Box, and it basically helps you format your code, um, and specifically format your code to a certain set of standards. So uh, once you and your coworkers can uh, can thumb wrestle over you know where to put the space before the curlies and after the parentheses and between the quotes and all that good nonsense you guys can use this module to help you enforce that as well as clean up old code so here's the package listed here on forgebox it's called command box hyphen cf format you can see the readme here to install this into command box is very simple you just type install command box dash cf format I already have it installed, so I won't need to do this step. Once you install it, it has some default uh, formatting rules for your code. It's uh, based specifically for formatting CFC files. Typically, um, I use it for my, for my script syntax. And here I have a .cfformat.json file, which is just sitting here in my current directory. And this is a file that I concocted, just kind of tweaking the default formatting based on my particular preference. Obviously, you can change this to be whatever you want. If you want to see all the settings, there is a CF format command. And if you do dash dash settings, it'll output every possible setting you can set, as well as what the default values are. So you can see there's all sorts of things for arrays, for functions, for keywords, for structs, strings, things like that. So the way that this works is that I have a file here called user.cfc with just some absolutely horrible code devoid of any white space or line breaks whatsoever. Hopefully your code does not look like this, so I do pity you. Um, and so we can run uh, CF format, and then we can give it the path to the file we want it to format. So I'll say format user.cfc. And so the default behavior is it just dumps the results of the newly formatted file out to the console. So it doesn't touch my file on disk out of the box. So I could take this command and I could uh, pipe or redirect this output into a new file um, or something of that nature. Or I can use the overwrite flag which tells the CF format command to overwrite my file in place and you can see that VS Code updates on the fly and all the indentation and white space has been added in per my specific CF format.json. So I like to have uh, extra space around my equal signs. I like to have my if statement butted up against the parentheses, but I like to have space around the condition. I like to have a space before the curly. These are all just my custom settings. You can tweak yours. Uh, so it's pretty cool. You can also apply this to an entire directory of files. It doesn't have to be just one file. And my absolute favorite way to use it is actually to use the watcher. So the watcher will sit out there and it will inspect your uh, hard drive and the folder you're running it in. And as soon as you save a file, it'll immediately overwrite that file with the formatted version of the code. So as you uh, edit your code, you can keep everything up to your formatting standards. So I'm going to tell it to just watch the current directory I'm in, everything uh, south of this current directory, and I'm going to add the dash dash watch flag. So now you can see it says watching files dot dot dot. So if I come up here and I select the contents of this file, let's just shift tab, just blow away all that nice pretty indentation. If I hit control S in VS Code, it saves the file, the watcher fires, and boom, my file's put back to um, what it was originally, which is pretty sweet. So I can come in, um, one of my rules is that I want to use single quotes because I like to use that. So if I replace foo equals bar with double quotes and hit control S, Boop, put back to single quotes for me, right? It also has some really clever things based on like the length of lines. So you see my array literal is put on one line, but if I go and I make the information long enough and hit save, it'll automatically break that up and start putting things in separate lines. So it does the same thing for function arguments, um, for array and struct literals. So there's all sorts of ways you can customize it. So install the command box CF format module and play around with your own .cf format JSON file. Uh, discuss amongst your coworkers about how you guys want to format your code and then get that dropped into your project um, and you can use CF format to automatically format your code for you. Okay, so hopefully that's useful for you guys, give you something to chew on, and I'll see you next time.